your boy Jag here at another Three String Cigar Box Guitar Lesson. We are doing the Immigrant Song by the great Led Zeppelin, 1970. All right, so we are tuned to E, A, and D, which is be your, obviously your top three strings of a regular tuned six string guitar. That allows us to get down to this low, the low E note here for this particular song. So let's get right to it. So the song is in the key of E flat minor. So what we're going to be doing is first finger on the third string, second fret, and pinky is going to be playing the first string, fourth fret. It's an octave. These are both the same notes. One's lower than the other. That's the low one. There's your high one. So first finger, second fret on the third string. Pinky is going to be on the first string on the fourth fret. And you're gonna go back and forth between those two notes only. So here's how you strum it. At first, a lot of people think you have to go da 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 on the big string and then the little string and then the big string, but you really don't. You can strum all the strings because you're gonna be muting that middle string. And by the way, you'd play this exactly the same way on a six string guitar. Here's what's really important though, this hand. That's all you're doing. The trick is in this hand. What I'm doing is I'm only pressing down that string, the third string on the second fret, but I'm muting the other two with the same finger that's pressing down that note. So just press it down and let your finger touch the other two and you're only gonna hear the one note. You can strum all three. So far, we're only playing the one note. We have to do the octave with that first string on the third, or I'm sorry, fourth fret. So my pinky is on the first string, fourth fret. So real slow. Watch my fingers. Right there, I'm only pressing the third string, second fret, but I'm touching the other two, so you can only hear the big string. Now we add the pinky on the uh, first string, fourth fret. I'm strumming all three strings, but I'm muting two of them, except when I hit that one. That right there is a regular old root on fifth shape bar chord on a six string guitar. And that's your one finger rock and roll A on a six string guitar. So what do I mean by that? Well, we're gonna be barring all the way across on the fifth fret, and then you're gonna use your third finger, that's with your first finger, then you're gonna use your third finger on the other two strings. That one just happened to be a little bit sharp, it's flat. There we go. So this is your regular bar chord that you would see on a six string guitar. So first finger is on the third string fifth fret, Third finger is on the second string seventh fret and also the first string seventh fret. Then you're gonna slide down here and you're gonna bar the top two strings on the second fret. That would be the one string and the two string. Looks like your rock and roll A on a six string guitar. These are exactly the same shape as your root on fifth bar chord. Very, very, very common. So there's your A, rock, what I call the rock and roll A on the second fret of a six string guitar and here's your D. tricky because it's a pretty fast strummer so it goes bump da battle bump da bow bow oops I messed it up you can also do this or you can do just the top two strings all right so start out the song back so basically you're doing that G flat and then you do the and you hold that note and then you hit that note again that chord again go back to the D back to the main fret or main riff 
does that 12 times, and then you go up to the fifth fret bar chord, which is an A chord, just as, exactly the same as the six string, two finger, Chuck Berry. But we're not gonna be doing, obviously, the shuffle. Just these two fingers. That's your A, then you're gonna go up two frets to the B. One more to the C. Then you go back to the main riff. Then you go through all that again. And back down to the main riff. He does that uh, 12 times, I believe, and then he changes it slightly. keeping that first finger on the third string second fret and I'm doing the main riff then I'm gonna move my pinky up one fret to one five keep the first finger there though so we're doing this wacky big stretch does that 12 or 15 more times and then that's the end of the song so i hope you enjoyed this lesson be sure and check out my website jagshouse.com cigar box guitar is just like this one since 2004 over 4,000 sold this one is the crossroads model single coil pickup on this one but i also put humbuckers in i make dog bowl resonators i make ukuleles all sorts of stuff Diddly Bows, which is a broom handle, rounded, fretless guitar with one string or two strings. All sorts of stuff. Jagshouse.com. Be sure and subscribe if you are enjoying these lessons, and we'll see you next time.